Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, our video today is not about uh, Islam, it's about an atheist. His name is uh, Bart, or Bart A. Harman. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly. Uh, however, uh, you can see the name here. Now, you know, for sure everybody is welcome to uh, make his statement and give his opinion about God, religion. That's, uh, you know, a freedom of belief, and we Christians believe in it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes I ask myself, how a fool, how a fool became a doctor, and how a doctor speak as a fool? Uh, you know, usually when we see someone, he have a PhD, we, uh, like, uh, we expect that we will see someone, he have, uh, s like, special kind of intelligence and knowledge. And uh, he is uh, different from normal average human being. But we are not uh, supposed to see someone is speaking uh, foolishness. However, let me you know make it clear for you. Actually, I noticed during my life that the most stupid people is the one who have PhD. I, I don't mean that everyone who have a PhD is stupid. No, but you know. Um, you see, when a human being get degrees, um, he start uh, uh, acting like God. He think he is God. Uh, he think he is above everybody. He think he is the smart one, and everyone else is stupid. So, and, and that is the foolishness part of the PhD. It's not the PhD itself. Uh, you know, once a friend uh, uh, asked me uh, why you don't do PhD. You know, I have a master degree. I don't have a PhD. Um, so he convinced me actually it says it's better you know that will open for you uh, a different uh, venue etc you can teach at university you know so I said you know what fine I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and see what this PhD can do so we called a university and uh, he gave me a phone number for someone uh, school which uh, uh, very respected, very well-known school in the state. And uh, I spoke to the one who was in charge of the Department of uh, Mythology and Religion, etc. And then he said to me, to be honest with you, uh, like I'm the, uh, the one who will be your supervisor for this PhD, but I don't know really much about Islam. In fact, I listened to someone, I don't know, he have a voice like yours, an accent like yours, uh, in the internet and I learned from him I said oh, okay that's good uh, but can you send me a link of his uh, videos anyway so later I found out that this is me so I started laughing at, at, at the idea of having PhD the guy who want to give me PhD himself he learned from me but yet he is the one who will give me the PhD <laughs> so I said to myself this is nothing but hypocrisy uh, a piece of paper I will spend uh, at least two or three years uh, to get it and spend a lot of money when the fact I'm learning from myself so having a PhD have nothing to do with knowledge knowledge is something and education of degrees is something else education is school actually you know I have my degrees in Islam they never <clears throat> they never taught me anything about Islam you see, what, what you learn about Islam in Islamic schools, they teach you how, how uh, stupid things. Let, let us say things not, not really, uh, not the depth of Islam, but let us say the, uh, the meaning of words, what this uh, rule mean, what that rule mean, what is that, etc. So it's about a, a, a technique, but it's not about understanding the religion itself, it's not about going deep. Not, not about questioning the religion, it's about learning the religion. It is a huge difference. <clears throat> because a religion, any any religion, you know, if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha, it doesn't matter. The best way to know your religion is to start with the questioning and then you will get a firm belief or you will leave. I mean, myself, I have a firm belief because I questioned. I did not just accept that I'm a Christian. Uh, but in this case here we have this this guy in front of us supposedly he is a smart intelligent person <clears throat> I will let you hear some of his words and then we can go 
for what is next. An idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start from here. But about how he's really glad to be with you. Uh, this is an unusual experience for me. I, I usually don't get asked to speak to groups of uh, atheists, agnostics, and skeptics. I get asked a lot, speak a lot of Christians. <laughs> so this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is very nice. I'm sure uh, I'll enjoy this very much. I've had a lot of interesting speaking engagements this last, uh, this last year. Uh, about a month ago, I was asked to give a, to do a public debate uh, at Northern uh, Alabama University. So uh, I had never been in Northern Alabama before. Uh, I came back and told my wife, Sarah, we don't live in the, in the Bible Belt. <laughs> if you want to go to the Bible Belt, go to Northern Alabama. Did you, uh, you see anything funny? Uh, and, and there's people right away, they start laughing too. But you see, this is not a speech, honestly. I, I, I try, uh, when I speak to someone or listen to someone, I try to analyze his words to see if I have an you know, intelligent person speaking to me. Uh, we don't, I told my wife, we don't believe in the Bible Belt, so what does that mean? You, know, you live in there or you don't, so what? And people, they laugh. You're not, you did not say a joke. Uh, Bible Belt is exist area, and it's called this way, and people, they use it. And you don't live there, and we understand, so what is the joke? Should I laugh, like just because you are laughing? And you know, you see the naive people in the, in the, uh, down the stage, they are laughing for whatever he said. It's like the comedian, when he go in the stage, whatever, he move his hand, people laugh. Why? Because they are expecting that they will laugh. Because he's a comedian. So are you trying to be a comedian? Let us see the philosopher, the one who writes books, what he have to say. Let us move a little bit. Uh, let, let us listen. <laughs> Alabama. So I was, we, were, we were supposed to have this debate. Uh, the, the debate was, uh, the topic was whether the problem of suffering should call into question the existence of God. Uh, and I was debating a fellow who is a uh, Christian apologist, a, uh, a fundamentalist Christian apologist. Every time I have one of these debates, in the middle of the debate, I start writing notes to myself, saying such things as, why the hell am I here? <laughs> That's a funny one, because this is telling me that you are a stupid idiot. You are coming here for no reason. You do not know why. And now you are agreeing that they did beat you, and they did beat you. They did beat you badly. Actually, he will say that. Listen carefully. Uh, so uh, he was very articulate uh, and uh, and he knew a lot and uh, he... he knew a lot for sure he is he knew a lot so he knew a lot are you the, are you the one who knew a lot who can refute absolutely not he knew exactly what I was going to say because he knew exactly what I was going to say so let us make it clear guys when somebody speak this way he is telling you that I lost badly he knew exactly what I was going to say he knew a lot so I did not make it. It was bad. He destroyed me. My argument looked funny and looked stupid. Now let us go back to what he said. He said one of his uh, uh, argument that if God is exist, people should not suffer. If God is real, human beings should not suffer because perfect God gives you perfect life. <clears throat> uh, you know, when, when someone speaks this way, trying to be a philosopher, uh, his own philosophy can beat him badly. Why? Because this is mean we can have God and God is true if we have a life without suffering. That's wonderful. But isn't it the Christian belief that life without suffering is exist? And that is called heaven? <clears throat> isn't it the Christian belief that God he did not make us suffer it is us who cause ourselves to go out of heaven and then we suffer because we choose to be away from God. And don't the Christians believe that when we go back to heaven, when the Lord, he, he take us back again, we will not have suffering no more. So the, the idea is very simple. The speaker is stupid and uh, uh, his idea itself full of contradiction because this is mean you do not understand Christianity because a Christian don't believe that God created us to suffer God did not 
cause us to suffer. Anyone who think, by the way, that it is God who causes us to be suffer, no. When we disobey God, you are telling God, we do not need you. We are gods by ourselves, and we can solve our problems by ourselves. So this is what God said to us: Go, you are you, you are by your own. And He told us what will happen to us. He told Adam what will happen to him. He told Eve what will happen to her. You are by your own. So when someone wanna speak smart, but he speak foolish, yet he have a PhD, that is really a very stupid person for me. I hope this guy he uh, he will hear my video, uh, <clears throat> and he, if you would like to have a debate with me, I would like to do so. However, this kind of debate is about nothing, except about uh, you know like my say and his say. It's not about books. It's not about uh, uh, your belief and my belief. And this is why, honestly, I don't like to debate uh, people who like the, the atheists because they are debating about nothing. They are debating that they are right and you are wrong, that's all. But they don't have any belief. They are confused themselves. I would not be surprised if this guy in a few years from now, he come with a new idea saying, because suffering exists, God is exist. See, those people, they are, uh, for me, I see them that they are not stable. You know, when you don't have something to back yourself with, you are in the middle of the wind. and wind can change you, can take you to any direction. If you don't have a belief, you are without belief, which means you are nothing. You know what the atheist, of, what the, what the belief of an atheist is, is not to believe. This is his belief, and that make him the same as little cloud can be moved by wind to any direction, because he have no roots. He don't belong to anything. He belong to atheism, which is nothing. When you belong nothing to nothing, you are nothing too. Because you choose not to believe, and that is your belief, and then you have nothing. You have no ideology, you have no backup, you have you, you don't belong to anyone. Actually, you don't even belong to a group. Uh, you know, uh, human nature, as long as this guy, he speak about philosophy. <clears throat> One of the reasons for a human race to survive, that a human race, they gather together. They live together. They are society, not individuals. Atheism is against society. Because atheism worships the person himself above all. And that will destroy society. This is why you see atheists, they don't get married. Atheists, most of them, they are gays and lesbian. Atheists, they are the most who can be exposed to uh, even sexual disease and problems and drugs, etc. Because they don't have something to guide them to do or not to do. They go only by what is called uh, logic or common sense. But even that for them is 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 is, 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 is bended down and it's a broke, because simply is mixed with the what what friends says. And the friends are not always wise. It's the bent you are on which uh, society who is your friends. You know, like in the, in the Middle East, we, we say, uh, tell me who your friends, I will tell you who you are. So when you associate, associate with the filthy one, you know, associate with people who they are doing everything wrong, then you will get to be like them. One, uh, one bad apple will damage 25 apple. The whole box will damage, not, but the one good apple will not fix the 24 other uh, apple. Never happen, unless it's a miracle. So, <clears throat> uh, stupidity is not a knowledge but stupidity in the world today is invited to give you a speech and to give you a prize because you deserve it because you prove to us that you are the more stupid person and therefore we are given to give you a prize and uh, you have books and that make you something unique <clears throat> so my message to those who they they think they are uh, uh, smart uh, we don't we don't find any intelligence in you and you know we feel sorry for you however if this guy he dare to debate me I will be so happy to take him it's going to be a funny debate because simply we will be debating about nothing why because simply he have no book he have no value he have no standard he have no base he have nothing he is absolutely nothing like the nothing he believe in Christ is Lord and atheism is false Amen.